Topsy Skull Grinder. It's basically a continuation of everything they've done since they got back together so far. Um, you pretty much know what to expect at this point, but obviously it's shorter. It's an EP. It only has seven songs. It's not a full-length album. I gotta say, I really love the artwork. It looks like the Boatman from Symphony of the Night. I'll guide you to meet your destiny. It's the pure death metal style that they have done for the Headless Ritual and Tourniquet's Hacksaw and Graves. Unlike Macabre Eternal, there are no acoustic guitars to be found here. And of course, it still sounds like a band that's playing together instead of recording an album together. That is one of the most important qualities that I respect about Autopsy. Now, as far as EPs are concerned, I personally found the tune within to be more, uh, stimulating. It's mainly because the riffs just sounded newer on that album. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the riffs here, but for the newer Autopsy albums, I look forward to the solos more than I do the main riffs. Danny Corral's just always had that cool solo style. Like, he would start a solo by descending from the highest note, and then every few notes he would do this big squeal. <laughs> Either that, or he would vary it up a bit. It's important to note that on this album, you have great lyrics such as You're all humanary stew! Alice Cooper much? Children of the filth is my favorite song up here. I really like the quiet section, that's the best part. It reminds me of the quiet section of In the Grip of Winter. And then you also have songs such as Sanity Bleeds, which is really a breath of fresh air because there are no drums. It's just the weird psychedelic style that Autopsy is known to do occasionally. Think of Flesh Crawl, but expanded. With Chris Reifert's awesome screams, of course. There's also the Withering Death, which has enough weirdness and anger and slowness and heaviness to make me want to smash things while doing more videos. I'll tell you what I miss on this album, I really miss Eric Cutler's vocals. It was something I enjoyed while listening to Abscess because it provided a lot of variety in the band. Perhaps even a schizophrenic vibe. I mean, his voice on Slaughter Day back on Mental Funeral, that helped make that song more fun. Return to Dead is a great closer. It shows the more experimental side of Autopsy. It's screechy, squealy, the guitars and drums have nasty sounds. Really, it's Autopsy, what's there not to like? It's cool that Autopsy is able to keep the spirit of old-school death metal alive and flowing. What I would like to hear now is a continuation of the punky, grind-sounding death metal of Acts of the Unspeakable. The thing about those albums, though, is they had muddy production. So maybe take the organic, raw, modernized, clean production of the newer albums and blend it in with the style of those grind albums. What was cool about those albums is that they had death metal bleeding all over them but they sounded dirtier and nastier because the songs were shorter. Those albums were so fun to listen to, but unfortunately, they don't get the credit that they deserve. People will only recognize Autopsy for Severed Survival and Mental Funeral, and while those are two of some of the best death metal albums ever made, it's underrated how great Acts of the Unspeakable and Shit Fun were. My verdict is that this is a truly satisfying EP, I personally like Side 2 more than Side 1 because it features the more weird and experimental side of Autopsy. Lots of highlights, lots of great points, but I am truly interested in hearing a return to the death grind, nasty, punkier sound that they have established a long, long time ago. Hail Autopsy.